Hello, my name is Marcus Faust. I'm a Rubrik Systems Engineer, specifically on the DevOps SE team. And today I would like to walk through how we can leverage the Rubrik REST API to create very flexible and powerful automation workflows. Workflows that can be integrated into any orchestration platform or engine out there that supports outbound REST. So first off, I would like to point out that the Rubrik platform is designed around an API-first architecture. Now, what, is, what does this mean and why is this really important? So what this means is any of the features that you see in Rubrik, um, our engineers and developers have made sure that there is a REST call for that. In fact, our UI leverages uh, our REST API with every UI click and action um, in the interface. So this API-first architecture was designed specifically with automation in mind. As an example, I would like to walk through a workflow around VM provisioning and custom SLA assignment. Now let's say you're an organization and you're using automation and self-service today. Typically you would have a VM provisioning workflow uh, that exists, that either exists through a form or a template here that will ask the end user or the help desk uh, items such as a VM name, CPU, memory, NIC. Now Rubrik supports auto protection, but let's say that the organization wants to enable the user to choose an optional SLA domain, one that per perhaps overrides the, the auto protection feature. So what we can do here is actually come in and add a dropdown uh, that specifies an SLA domain option. Now this dropdown can be populated with a REST API call out to Rubrik, basically getting all the SLA domains available. Now once the user chooses a VM name, CPU, all of the options, including the SLA domain, we can actually pass these parameters onto an actual workflow. So what will happen is we'll go up here to the first, to the first action. So once we know the name and SLA domain, uh, this can be passed to a, a refresh vCenter call. We can basically update uh, the vCenter information on rubric with a refresh call. Uh, once this is done, once this is uh, manually done, we can pass it down uh, to a check. Now we're going to check to see if this newly provisioned VM is discovered by Rubrik yet. Um, if it's not, if it's taking a, a little while, we'll pass this on to a wait call. And we can t wait anywhere from one to five minutes, uh, something reasonable. Now if we're waiting for a long time, we can either uh, time out here, or we can pass it back. We'll pass it back to the uh, refresh being center call here. So we're going to do another poll uh, for the VM. We're going to check to see if it's been discovered. Uh, if yes, we will then move the workflow on to the uh, SLA domain assignment. Now this will be uh, a REST API call back up to Rubrik to assign the specified SLA that was chosen in the form. Once this is done, we'll pass it down to some optional uh, workflow components here. Now as a post-process, we can either log or notify uh, the user that this has been accomplished. And at this point, uh, it's, it's complete. So at this point, the VM is protected with a rubric SLA domain, uh, one that the user has chosen specifically. Uh, we can either pass the control back uh, to the existing workflow that we've appended to, or we can just end it right there. So we'll pass it back to the end. Now this workflow can be brought into any of the major orchestration and automation platforms and engines uh, out there on the market. Uh, in fact, Rubrik has pre-written integration modules today with vRealize Automation and Orchestration, ServiceNow, and config management tools like, uh, such as Puppet. So some of the items that you get with these pre-written integration modules, uh, such as vRealize Automation, you're going to get very VMware-specific workflows, such as this and many others. Um, around more complex VMware items as well, such as migration and instant recovery. Now with ServiceNow, uh, with our ServiceNow integration, you will also get comprehensive dashboard and dashboards and reporting uh, for executive management visibility. And of course, uh, through the service catalog, we're going to have this workflow and many others around recovery. Now uh, with the Puppet module, you're, we actually have a DR workflow that can bring, bring up your DR VMs automatically uh, through through instant recovery as well. Uh, we also have an item around SLA domain enforcement. So as, if the SLA domain gets modified or changed in any way, we can modify that back to what it should be. So again, uh, we can leverage the Rubrik REST API to accomplish very flexible workflows. And it's really the, the fact that we have full coverage behind our REST API. All of the items that you see within the Rubrik interface is a REST API call. Because of this coverage that 
it really leverages you to, to accomplish your business goals through automation with maximum flexibility. So please check out our other Lightboard videos that we have available. And for further details about our rubric integrations, uh, please visit the blog on the rubric website. And thank you.